Hi guys, how do you do? This is Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today I wanted to just have a quick discussion about something that has been on my mind for the last few days. I'm hoping that uh, maybe you can chime in with your thoughts and feedback. That would be really helpful and I'm just curious to hear um, what you might think of this whole topic. Um, so the topic is how do you balance your professional job and your spiritual practice um, and do they ever cross paths and if so are they affected in a negative way um, so here's 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 kind of where I'm coming from and um, for myself on one hand I've been over for over 20 years an HR consultant and um, most recently the last few years I've been doing a lot of corporate recruiting uh, for a number of large some extremely large companies and then some smaller companies um, but uh, you know professional corporate companies so I'm hiring people for these folks okay so that's that's one side that's like one hat that I wear um, the other hat that I wear is my shamanism hat and I'm connecting with a lot of different people and healing and um, exchanging ideas and energy work uh, it's a lot of you know what people would call woo woo stuff so I've got the corporate world over here not woo woo I've got shamanism over here super duper woo woo if they cross paths is it going to hurt anyway I don't think that anything's going to be hurt on the shamanism side the corporate side though where it gets tricky is when social media comes into play so um, a really good example is LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a social media site where people go to network with other professionals, people who are in the same type of position as themselves. Um, they might go and, and talk within different groups um, about topics that relate to their work. Uh, they use it a lot when they are looking for employment, uh, looking to make a change. And, and then I personally use it um, often to look for those people who are looking for a change and try to, you know, see if they might be interested in coming over and filling a position that I currently have open. Um, so it's a really strong tool on the HR side of things. Uh, but recently I've been using LinkedIn on the shamanism side of things. And that's great. I'm getting connected with a lot of really neat people and it's doing exactly what I hoped it would. But the problem is, the corporate people are seeing the shamanic people and I don't know if that matters or not but what if I am hiring a VP of marketing or trying to fill this position and I meet somebody on, on LinkedIn and I start talking about them and we connect and then what if they check out my profile and they say oh yeah look at all these great companies she's worked with she totally knows what she's doing um, and I do by the way I'm very good at my job but, uh, ooh, that just sounded kind of braggy. That's me just feeling good about myself. Sorry, I don't mean to sound pretentious or anything. Um, okay, so they see me, and then they see the shamanism site. And what if they don't know what shamanism is? You know, what if they don't get it? What if they think I cast spells on people or I kill chickens or something? I mean, that's so not what shamanism is about. But what if somebody doesn't know and they see that? Will they, will they leave? Will they not talk to me? Um, personally, it wouldn't bother me so much. I mean, if somebody, we don't make a match that way personally, I'm okay with that. Where I have a problem is that it could negatively affect the company that I'm currently working with. I guess that's my fear. Um, I have not seen that happen by any means. Um, but it is out there where there's the, the professional side and the shamanism side and they're being very open to one another. So that's my question is, is that cool to do? Um, and I think I will do it anyway, whether it's cool or not, but because I, I, my, my heart says, yes, it's cool. My head says people are not going to understand the shamanism part and they may, um, you know, run away from me. I don't know. I really don't know. So how do you take those two things and merge them and not let it, bother anybody that's my question so if you have any feedback about that I would really 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 love to hear from you if you've had any 
examples or, or circumstances that are, are similar, if you could share those, that would be great. I think the last um, note I would like to make is currently I'm working for a nonprofit company and uh, it's a laboratory, a bio, uh, life science laboratory. So I am hiring scientists and um, you know really great people doing really great work. And the nonprofit part feels so good to me, um, rather than you know X Y Z company that's making bazillions of dollars and taking over the world. That I don't like. That feels yucky to me. So the nonprofit is feeling really, really, really good. Um, so I think I'm really kind of finding myself wanting to get away from corporate America uh, and, and get more into public service and healing work. But it's important for me to do a good job um, in any HR position that I might be in. So I'm super happy right now with this nonprofit company, though, so it feels good. So uh, that's basically it. Um, Tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm overreacting. Um, I hope this has made sense. If you need clarification on anything, just let me know. Um, but I'm very much looking forward to hearing from you. And that's it. I will see you tomorrow. I think today was like day eight or something of my um, one video blog a day for 30 days project. I need to go count and, and keep better track of it. But I'm sticking to it, so that's a good thing. So namaste. Be well, be happy, and I will see you tomorrow.